Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, back with another Dragalia Lost video. Very different one. Today I'm going to talk about some of the data mines that we either found recently or something happened that are potentially hinting at future collab units and, and in general some future units coming to the game. So if you don't want to know about any of the future units, I this is my warning for you now. There's no hint of it on the title and there's no hint of it on the thumbnail because I wanted to keep it a secret. But we will immediately start getting into it after this point. Alright, let's get into it. So first of all, all this uh, info was found at the Dragalia Lost uh, Reddit. And then they basically tell you where they got all their info from. Um, so let's go down here. This man right here, uh, Draken, has made a very fine list. So the known characters are uh, Gatav, Eustace, Kogler Yestro, Grimir, Monica, excuse me for the pronunciations, I don't know how to pronounce a lot of words. Uh, Fina, Nephron, Narmea, Lucius, Orcus, Lycia, Joker from Persona uh, 5, uh, Panther from Persona 5, Mona from Persona 5, and Sophia from Persona 5 Scramble. Technically speaking, all, fi all, all these characters would be from Persona 5 Scramble. Uh, unknown characters, Olga, Sheila, Muse. Bedolfusa, Arcus, Elda, Jibba, Amanda, Kuzuha, Saimae, Asia, Noera, Schmidt, Rosie, Yatsune, Ivan, Kristen, Risha, Ganede, Hugo, Kaide, Tension, Doimen, um... Those are the unknown characters. Known dragons are Sane, and unknown dragons, Gus to know. Um, so the reason that they've been broken into this is because these are 100% known characters. Everyone knows that the, these characters are from uh, Persona 5, <laughs> specifically. Um, some of the characters here, some of these are from Dragalia Lost, and some of these are from Grand Blue Fantasy. I know Narmea is from Grand Blue Fantasy, and I believe Eustace is the cat boy from Grand Blue Fantasy, if I'm remembering that correctly. Um... I don't have a lot of experience with Grand Blue Fantasy, but that's basically what I know enough. I know more about Persona 5 than I know about that. Um, um, I believe Gatav is supposed to be someone from the Dragalia Lost story, specifically. Um, some of these unknown characters, um, such as... Because some of these unknown... When he made those lists, a couple people have now kind of figured out who some of them could be as you can see here from some of the comments Saime was supposed to be the name of the Ox Clan leader and that is supposed to be the year that this year when we get the New Year's uh, event banner um, he, in theory he should be the next clan leader and then Yoshitsune would be the the other leader that we got because if you remember last year um, we got Mitsuhede and Nobunaga um, so it would make sense if they were keeping with that same theme that would be the characters we would get from that specific point um, so this is the list, and by the way, I specifically said it now that we're three minutes in and I've said everything. If you end up liking this video, leave a like, comment, tell me about how you feel, and subscribe to me if you want some more Dragalia stuff and any general gotcha stuff. Alright, now for real, let's get back into it. How credible is this? It's hard to know. So, let me give you some backstory. Let's start with, um, specifically Monster Hunter World. So, so, a very long time ago, before Monster Hunter World was gonna come out, months before, like, easy at least five months before monster hunter world was about to come out um someone in our discord told us monster hunter world is coming up next and we asked how do you know and we said well because i know a, a guy who knows a lot of the data that we found inside there and he can tell me that they they've existed inside Dragalia for an extremely long time now and that's going to be the next collab um and we didn't really believe him he mentioned some other stuff that would be coming along with it, but he said, okay, if you don't want to believe me, it's fine. Um, and to be honest, we at the beginning, it was very hard to believe because how do you make Monster Hunter World into a, um, I guess specifically Monster Hunter, how do you make Monster Hunter in, into Dragalia? It just didn't make sense. The only collabs at that point were Mega Man and um, uh, Fire Emblem. So there wasn't really like a lot of like no knowns i guess is the right way of saying it um and if you would believe what he said uh the monster hunter characters had existed pre-mega man so they had been in there for a while um 
And so, lo and behold, eventually, like some of the galley units he mentioned, that is like, by the way, this galley unit should be next. And then that galley unit was released, and we were like, oh, you weren't you weren't lying to us. And sure enough, by the time Monster Hunter World came out last year was first announced last year because it was um, announced along with a digest for Christmas. Um, by that point, absolutely everyone knew that Monster Hunter was going to be the next collab event, and. From what he's told me and what his friend told him, since then, Dragalia has very much cracked down safety-wise to, to prevent something like that from happening again. So he's been getting very little info from him since then because it's kind of like, we don't know anymore. Um, they've really tightened the belt and stuff like that, and that's why stuff like Precon was able to come out and we had no idea that it was about to come out. I have no idea when um, Gala stuff is going to be coming out anymore. You kind of have to follow the story and kind of pay attention to that. But if you do that, you should pay. You should know who's going to come up. But I digress. So, cut to today. Apparently, these characters have existed since 1.21 or so. And as of the most recent update, they were removed. Weird, right? Um, according to at least one person in here, which I was reading the, the Reddit comments, I'll, be, I'll leave a link to a lot of this stuff in, in the video, by the way, if you want to check it out yourself and read some of the stuff if some people were saying. Um, let me see if I can find it. It's, uh, so they were looking for the exact file for, they were looking for the exact, they couldn't find them exactly. Um, they were looking for it, um. They were looking for it, but then they finally were able to find it. I can confirm these entries now. Seems like it'll at least they've been at least since 1.23 and before 2.21. They've been in the game files. I'm, I'm, I'm unable to find the exact files that are being data mined for this information. I don't know where to look. But looking at the Discord for the subreddit linked in the sidebar for the wiki channel, it seems like it could be, in fact, legitimate. If I knew where to find the file, I could at least double check. But even if the game files always remember that it may or may not happen, it could possibly be remnants of something that they were messing around with. Hype yourself up, keep a maximum to where you won't disappoint yourself and it doesn't matter. And it, they can confirm that they in fact existed before 2.21. 2.20. So they removed them. So why would they remove them? Chances are so no one would find them. The problem is, is that nobody found them until they removed them. Um... So, how likely is it that we're going to be getting these characters? Well, I honestly don't know. I would love it if they were actually coming up. But, you know, like that person in the comments said, it's hard to know. Um, there have definitely been... It's not like... Let me tell you right now. If you look at the data of gotchas, you will find a lot of characters that have existed in the gotcha for an extremely long time that have never been released. If I remember correctly... I was told Aureli was in the Dragon Ball Legends data, and she has. N I've been told that since mm, the launch of the game, and guess what? She's never coming out because they can't get her out. Um, because deals, there's no way for her to get her there. Um, so chances are, but to be fair, I'm pretty sure Grand Blue Fantasy is owned by Side Game, so I don't know what would keeping them up. For Persona 5 Scramble, it makes sense they don't want to release this right now because it's not coming out anytime soon over translated so it's already out in japan and the d translated version has been deconfirmed that's how that's the current state of persona 5 scramble um they really should have picked royal or something um so i don't know when we would ever see persona 5 stuff if they're specifically scramble related and they don't, they don't want to release it until um they're coming over state wise we're going to be waiting a long ass time for Persona 5 Scramble characters. I'm going to tell you that right now. There's no there's no date on Persona 5 Scramble as far as I'm, I'm aware. They removed it. Um, the Grand Blue Fantasy people I could definitely see being something like if they were going to do a digest in December, they could totally have like a thing at the end like, oh, by the way, Grand Blue Fantasy characters are coming. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure there's already characters from other side games in Dragalia. Um, I can't remember if any of them are specifically from Grand Blue Fantasy. Um, so it's hard to know if they would just actually just bring over. Like, what's stopping them from just bringing over Narmea and just saying, like, this is Narmea. And then it's like, alright, summon. Um, they would want to do, if they wanted to do a collab specifically, then they would have to be like, okay, well, this is this, this is what's happening here and this is how we're going to do it. Um... And like I said, last year, 
uh, for Christmas, there was a digest, and at the end of that digest, there was an info about a collab coming in February. No hint that we could get that. I would wait for, uh, let me see, what's today? We'll actually know closer to Tuesday, because when we get this week in Dragalia, if we have any hint of a digest coming in December, that this, week, this month in Dragalia would tell us. So that's kind of what I, ta- I wanted to do. I wanted to talk about it just because I was like, it was super weird. It, it really d- felt like it came out of nowhere, and there's been a lot of like back and forth. I know Mayo, for example, who is a Trash Alliance member who did not believe Monster Hunter was coming, uh, was hardcore, actually. He went full on like, oh, uh, no, we're not getting Monster Hunter. We're never getting Monster Hunter. I'm Australian. And then he was wrong. Um, and he feels the same way about this, so that tells me that we're going to be, this is all true. Um <laughs> So, I don't know if, but again, it's hard to know if they would actually be released. It's hard to know. Like a lot of, like a lot of gotchas, it's hard to know. Um, if you want to take another example, uh, Dokkan had One Piece data in it for an extremely long time, and then when they got the collab, they ended up just getting a Bye Guys Goku. Like, th- that's to show you, like, sometimes they plan something, like a collab, and then stuff just falls through. There was, a, there was, there's been rumors the Square Enix collab was supposed to be coming. Don't know the property, but guess what? That's not happening either because Square Enix is extremely... Well, it's not happened yet because Square Enix is extremely hard to work with. Um, notoriously hard to work with, actually. Um, so who knows about that? But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to leave a like. Comment, tell me how you feel about this. Is there anything that like you're skeptical or you're hopeful... And let me tell you right now, if you are you a big enough fan that you're like, well, I don't have any, I don't have any spare Wormite or tickets because that's the game currently. Um, if so, you would have to be start hard. Let me tell you, if you have currently zero Wormite, I would suggest you would have to skip a lot of banners because let me tell you, December is rough. There's a lot of li- Dragon Yules coming back and a brand new Dragon Yule banner. And then at the end of that is the Hinamoto stuff. And there's no hints of us getting any free multis like we did in the anniversary. I would love it if we did, but if you want to start saving, start saving now um, is what I'm saying. Um, comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Now I need to go record my summons. Wish me luck.